Hi, quick programming note. I'm going to acknowledge ahead of time that I made a mistake in this video, a consistent mistake throughout the video. This video is reviewing the PGY Tech Mantis Tripod Pro. I consistently throughout the video call it the PGY Tech Lotus Tripod. I do apologize. I made the decision to keep the video and just put this uh, apology slash disclaimer. The product is PGY Tech Mantis Tripod Pro. It is the Pro version, but it's the Mantis, not the Lotus. I'm sorry. Thanks for watching. Longtime viewers of this channel know that I sometimes get a little bit obsessive about gear. I'm always trying to refine the things that I have so I can carry less and the things that I do carry do more. When I'm traveling, I want to have my bags and my luggage and my clothes and my camera gear. I want it to be as light as possible. And I'm constantly going through stuff. The last few gear review videos that I did, I kind of mentioned that I'm trying to do less of these. I don't want to review and highlight stuff for the sake of stuff and for the sake of making a video. But based on what I just said, that I do have a tendency of going out and grabbing stuff that I think is going to make my video producing easier, I, I buy a lot of stuff. I go through a lot of equipment and I go through it and then I determine whether or not I like it and a lot of times I return it. And that actually connects to another video that I did, speaking of returns, I recently reviewed a PGY Tech camera bag that I thought was really, really cool and well designed, but I returned it because I didn't like the way the zipper worked. So I wanted to redeem PGY Tech because I have another PGY Tech product that I've been using for months and I really like it and it's helping me make more videos, more diverse videos, and I'll demonstrate how and why in a second, but I wanted to highlight this product because I actually use it and I actually find that it's been helping me do more. The PGY Tech Lotus Mount. And it comes in two versions. It comes in like a like a like a standard and a professional. I'll I'm going to update it at the bottom because I know I probably didn't get that right. The Arca Swiss is built into the the mounting system for this for this tripod. There's another version that just has the screw on. Obviously, I'm not a fan of that. It's just it's just more work. But this one has it built in, and it it's got a lot of locks here to keep it nice and sturdy. And I'm a big fan of that. And you can you can kind of lock this in place and if you're if you're doing vertical you can you can kind of do this a little bit easier i've been finding doing the vertical shots for the google shorts has um i mean it's fine it's easy right but if you're trying to use an actual camera instead of a cell phone uh, a lot of times if you don't have the ability to to mount in multiple pl places you end up having the screen at the bottom and I guess it's not a major problem, but I don't, I don't love that. But um, with with this mounting system, the one bad thing is the there's a locking mechanism. It's a little hard to get to when you do it in this orientation. But you can you can lock it this way, and then you have your screen up like this. It's easier to see. So I use this camera and this setup in my Thai food restaurant review, which was, you know, getting a lot of, it's getting a lot of good, good views, good, good reactions. And again, that that's, it's nice because that video really wasn't for me. It was to make sure that people knew about that, that restaurant because uh, they're really nice people. This made it easy for me to just put this on the table, film the food, film reaction shots, do it in a vertical view because it did a couple of shorts to go along with the main video. And it works really nice. Uh, the other net benefit for this camera, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do B-roll. The reason why this is called the Lotus is because it can bend and create a lot of options for for mounting and for putting on table. With in this position, you can hold it for self filming. You can extend the legs in a multitude of positions, and there's even like a uh, there's this hook that goes in the bottom, so you can kind of hook it on. Uh, like a fence and it'll hold it upright or something like that. So you can kind of you can kind of 
mount this thing on a vertical structure if it, if it fits the right criteria and then you can you can film at unique angles that's nice this this thing is nice it creates a lot of opportunity in fact i don't even know all the ways that this thing can bend it's got a lot of a lot of options i think this thing can bend in like 11 or 19 different positions and you can do a lot of stuff with it i'm not that adventurous i guess i just kind of need it for the standard things and like i said it helps it helps when you're filming and that nine by 16 orientation vertically, this has made it a little bit easier for me to do that and get the shots that I need. So this is a really nice product. I think I, I think this this thing hovers between like hundred dollars or hundred and ten dollars if you can get it on sale, or uh, I think retail if it's not on sale, it's like hundred and fifty. And again, this is the pro version. There's a cheaper standard version that doesn't have the Arca Swiss mount uh, capture system on the top. And, but I'm a big fan of that, so I don't have to keep taking different mounting plates off the bottom of the camera. One criticism I will make of this, it, it's, it does feel flimsy in some ways. It doesn't, you know, even like as I'm holding this and kind of flashing it around, it feels a little loose. And that's something, I, I'm not super concerned about it, but it doesn't feel super sturdy. And sometimes, at least at the orientations that I've used with this camera, as I've tried, if, when I have it vertical and there's a, there's a microphone on top, it can tip over sometimes. So you have to kind of constantly adjust the the way the legs are positioned to make sure that the the camera doesn't tip over and again if you've seen other videos that i've done you know i'm not a big fan of the joby gorilla pods because of that because it, it does flip over and the weight is not equally balanced on those tripods this isn't anywhere close to as bad as that obviously i wouldn't be talking about this thing if it, if it was like that but it it especially in the vertical it has some problems as a point of comparison i bought a small rig um, ball head to go on the flex pod and you've seen this in a couple of videos that I've made as well uh, I like the flex pod because it's metal and it's really sturdy flex pod sold a, a ball head too I bought that but it it was a screw on so you had to add another Arca Swiss adapter so you had an adapter on top of an adapter and I wanted to see if this was a little bit cleaner so if you don't want to go out and buy a hundred and twenty dollar micro tripod and you have something else that you like just fine, but you want to use those plates. Um, this ball head really helps, and it's on the plate system, and it, it also is very, very flexible. And once again, you can make it vertical. That's the thing that I find with almost all of the tripods for whatever reason. Um, the way the ball heads work typically, and this, includes, this is including the Peak Design tripod. Uh, they all want to make the, the screen orientation when you're going vertical down, uh, and I just don't like that. But this small rig ball head, this is, this is pretty nice too. If you, again, if you have a, other, a tripod that you like, uh, a smaller one that you want to carry around with, and again, to, to address any of the things that I just mentioned, this comes with the Arca Swiss plate built in. It's a screw-on tightener, which most of the Arca Swisses are. The, the PGY Tech has a, has a latch, and I feel like that's a lot more secure. Um, but this was just fine. It was fine. The thing that I really love the most about camera gear and making these videos and learning about camera stuff is I, I use the word ecosystems a lot and how when you buy into an ecosystem, whether it's like Apple products or the Google stuff or Microsoft stuff, a lot of times you are locked into that product ecosystem. But camera people figured out a long time ago that all of these mounting systems, all of these standards, you know, even, even the lenses, there's always an adapter. There's always some kind of adapter that lets you use your old gear, new products, other products. There's always something, there's always a way to use the stuff that you already bought and with some simple converter or adapter, something or other. There's always adapter technology with cameras and I love that. And I love learning about that. I love exploring those options and seeing if they really, um, they really help. And uh, the Arca Swiss, was like a revelation to me because it allowed me to use a bunch of stuff that I already had and without me having to do a lot of interchanging. So a uh, big fan of that. And like I said, that PGY Tech handheld, it, it, it's nice for me and nice for what I'm doing because it fits within my camera bag, uh, my 10 liter camera bag. It can kind of just fit in, in the bag too and I can just slide it in there. So I don't have to carry a bigger tripod around if I'm not doing anything substantial. So if I'm doing tabletop or talking head stuff, I can figure out a place to to make that work. Obviously, if you're out there taking photography and you need a more substantial tripod, you're still gonna need like a bigger travel tripod. But 
uh, I, I give that PGY tech a, a thumbs up, right? The, the professional Lotus pod or whatever they're calling it. I'll put the official name, uh, you know, obviously in the title and whatnot. But it, it's a good product. It, it definitely has been helping me to make better videos. And um, again, I, I'll be overlaying uh, some, some, some B-roll and product shot uh, while I'm talking. So I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful. Good product. And, uh, and that small rig ball head, that's another good one too. So if you have, if you're into the Arca Swiss and you're using capture plates and uh, you, need, you need something that has Arca Swiss and it's not, you don't want to get a, a ball head and then go out and buy another third party adapter plate with the Arca Swiss and put it on top of the ball head, that's a really nice option. And I think it's less than $40. So yeah, that, that's a good product too. So hope this is helpful. Hope you don't drop your camera or it falls off of a tripod that, that I'm recommending. And uh, happy shooting out there, everybody. Take care.